Joanne and I were students at the Juilliard School together. We became fast friends because of our love of contemporary music. She conducted the first performance of one of my works at the Juilliard School at the Festival of Contemporary Music in 1985, yes. and it was the beginning of a very dear and lasting friendship. It was. It was a great, great honor to work with Ken, but I have to say at that point I never had any idea of how our musical friendship would evolve. And to start this journey of uh, Ken's complete music for orchestra with the London Symphony has been extraordinary. This is our fifth project together with the LSO. We started in 2003. So over the last 14 years, we've compiled four discs, and this is now the fifth one of uh, quite a, a wide variety of uh, repertoire. In the fall of 2014, I received an email out of the blue from Matthew Savory the music director of the Bozeman Symphony Orchestra. And he said, would you consider composing an electric guitar concerto? And after a big gulp, <laughs> I said, sure, why not? To write a concerto for electric guitar, I think is very, is very uh, courageous. And I'm a guitarist myself, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm especially happy that he did this. It's an almost infinite sound world, the possibilities of what you can create with that instrument using the various pedals and sounds that are available. I decided to create a symphonic poem about the landscape and the incredibly beautiful mountains and vistas of the state of Montana. And so we settled on the title Glacier. Five movements, each uh, depicting different locations. The joy is, is working with a soloist of the caliber of DJ and, and having him invest his creative ideas. I think one of the things I love about Ken's piece is it's very expansive. I almost think it's as, uh, I think of it like if Sibelius and Copeland got together to write an electric guitar concerto and then let the guitar player kind of rock out every now and then. But really, it's a very sensitive piece. It's very expansive and it's subtle uh, with the guitar popping through just at the right moments. He's improvising. His, his musical ideas are different based on where he's at and what he's thinking in relation to the conductor and what's happening with the orchestra. As we were recording this, some of the, the uh, violinists like startled and think, "What? Where's that coming from?" Because musical language in the United States is so multicultural, Glacier gives the soloist uh, the opportunity to fuse all of those languages together. There are moments that are quiet and beautiful. There are moments that are really out there. And uh, he's captured the intrinsic personality of the electric guitar, which of course is what you want to do in a concerto. Mm -hmm. 